I'm Kellen Bryant, and I'm here to answer the question, how does a durable power attorney actually work? And, the, and so this video is for somebody who um, is named on a durable power attorney document um, and is wondering what to do uh, and, and how to make it actually work. I have durable power attorney of somebody, how can I manage their finances? So I'm going to cover um, three major way reasons or to use a durable power attorney or major players to give a durable power attorney to to make it work. So um, the first type is financial institutions, second type is real estate, third type is government entities. So first before you deal with uh, financial institutions, you'll bring it to the financial institution. They'll want to check out um, is this person um, that's bringing the power attorney the same person that's named. So if your name is, is Michael Smith, there, there are several Michael Smiths in this world and they want, they'll, they'll probably want proof that they're dealing with the right Michael Smith before they give Michael Smith control of Joseph Smith's financial account. So they're going to want um, clear identification. Uh, next thing, they'll, 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 any financial institution, you're not, if you go to the bank, to the branch, they're not going to say, okay, yeah, you can write accounts. They're most likely going to send it up to their legal department to make sure that the power of attorney is, is legal and kosher and can operate the bank account. Um, and then and then once it gets past that point, the bank will probably make the person named in the power of attorney actually sign an affidavit or some sworn statement under the penalty of perjury, penalty of perjury, that yeah, yes, this person's alive, yes, it has not been revoked, yes, they have the authority to, and they're not acting outside the authority of the power of attorney or directions of the person giving power of attorney. That's how it works with banks. Now, how does the work, durable power of attorney work with real estate? Um, so yes, if somebody named with durable power of attorney um, can, can sell a house, mortgage a house, um, sign a construction agreement, and those sort of things. But I'm going to talk about just selling a house, transferring a house. So when you have a, a, a financial durable power attorney, you can sell the house, and what actually needs to happen to make it work is A, the original copy of the durable power attorney in Florida is typically recorded in the county where the property is located. The original, it's blue ink signed original, needs to be filed in the public records. Um, so two, and, and, you, and usually, the, the, by the way, usually the um, title companies handle this or the attorney that you're working with will, will help and handle this. Um, and two, uh, when you're signing on the deed or whatever document, you're going to make it clear that you're signing as power attorney for somebody else. And, um, and then, then everything is recorded and that should take care of the tr transaction. Um, three, and this is the, the, the most critical thing I've been seeing recently in my practice about using a durable power of attorney with uh, government entities. Um, some government entities like uh, the VA does not recognize a attorney written durable power attorney. They have their own um, fiduciary system or durable power of attorney forms that they recognize. That's kind of off the table. Um, but dealing with uh, most commonly what I do in my practice is, is work with the Department of Children and Families, um, the Medicaid office in Florida with powers of attorney. And, the, the, and what will happen is um, I'm working with a client who is incapacitated. I'm working with the person, the, the name is attorney. In fact, we need to do certain types of transactions. If the durable power of attorney does not have certain things in it, um, we're, we're going to run into problems when, the, when we submit all the, the paperwork for the Medicaid application. And then the caseworkers at the Medicaid office will review the power of attorney and they'll say no and they'll avoid all that we do. So that's very, that's very key. Um, thing is having a correct power of attorney with right stuff in it. So you can so you can do all three types of transactions. You want to keep the original um, and these are the main problems that, that can occur um, in, in making the durable power of attorney work. Um, thank you for watching and I hope to meet you soon.